We are here inside Illustrator, and I would like to show you what Object, Transform, Transform Again is all about. So notice I'm using the Selection tool just here, and I have a simple object just here. Now if I just click, drag and release, you can see I can just easily move that object to the right like so. Basically, I've just introduced a simple transformation. So with the object still selected, if I go up to Object, Transform, Transform again, also note the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control D. So let's activate Transform again, and no big surprises, it has just repeated the transformation and continued to move the object to the right. So if I hold down Command or Control, every time I tap the D key, it simply repeats that transformation. Now if you're thinking, eh, so what? I kind of agree with you, but this thing becomes potentially very powerful when we start to use copies. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to bring this object back to the left. Note we're still using the selection tool. Now what I'm going to do this time is hold down the Alt or the Option key and drag this thing to the right. Now notice what I've managed to do here is drag out a copy of that original object. Now with this thing still selected, if I hold down the Command or the Control key, Every time I tap the D key, check this out, I get a new copy transformed. So I'm hoping you can see here, this potentially is a fantastic way to create complex patterns extremely quickly. Let me show you another example. I've got this rectangle just down here, and I'm thinking I would like to create something nice involving rotation. So with it selected, over here in the Tools panel, here's my Rotate tool. If I double click on it, it brings up the rotate dialog box just here. And I'm thinking 30 degrees sounds good. So I'll tap in 30 and tap my tab key to commit that. So you can see down here, if I have the preview turned on, that's the amount of rotation I'm going to get. Now, if I just choose OK at this point, I will just rotate the object. But of course, we've seen how powerful the transform again command is when we're operating on copies. So of course, instead of OK, let's choose Copy. And sure enough, we get a copy of our object rotated 30 degrees. Now with it still selected, if I hold down the Command or Control key, every time I tap the D key, check it out. Very quickly, I can introduce this rotation on these copies and create this nice pattern just here. So that's just a small taste, guys, of what you can do with Object, Transform, Transform again. I hope it gives you some cool ideas for some of your future projects. Catch you later.